Hey there, this is Curtis Trades here, and I'm going to do a quick identification of some of the common uh, Michigan rocks and uh, the Great Lakes region. And then I'm going to kind of show you some of my favorite rocks that I've found over the years. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So this here is my rock box and I kind of put a lot of my bigger rocks out here by my front yard. Um, just kind of to show them off so people want to see them when they're coming by. They're uh, out here and then I don't have to store them inside or anything. I just made a little box and put them in it. Um, quick, I'm going to start off here with the identification of some of the real common ones. And obviously we got the hexagon area which is uh, Petoskey stone. The specific one I actually found by the side of the road. They were building a new construction by my house and they had some rocks showing and this one was just sitting out there in the dry and it was a pretty nice example I found there. And I live in Traverse City for those of you who are wondering where um, I, I find these rocks. Um, it depends on which type of rocks but I do a lot of um, rock hunting actually in my own backyard. There's a ton of rocks in my yard and um, I do quite a bit in the Elk Rapids area, but I would say the hot spot for um, Petoskey st st Stone specifically is pretty much anywhere um, north of Frankfurt all the way up to the bridge area. But um, with that being said, you can find them almost anywhere in the upper um, areas of, of lower Michigan. And you can find them along the roads, along dirt roads, or on the side of the roads um, because they get, them, get rocks for the sides of the roads from quarries up here. And a lot of times you can find Petoskeys in those rocks. Like uh, if you look over here, even in these landscaping rocks I bought, I got these from Menards. You can see there's, I found Petoskey stones and other different fossils just uh, in these bags of rocks that I got from the store. So if you're anywhere up north, um, just take a look at, like, look at this one I just noticed here. This one, I found a nice, this is a crinoid fossil. This was just, again, in this bag of rocks I got from Menards. So you can find these almost anywhere when you're uh, up in the northern parts of Michigan. So you got some Petoskeys. This is actually a really cool stone I found. This is a massive Petoskey stone. And if you notice, it's kind of inset in another stone here. And there's a bunch of little different spots where it shows through. There's another fossil here on the back. I found this one in Elk Rapids. And this one, I don't know. I feel like this is some sort of artifact because if you look at this rock, it's smooth everywhere but it almost looks like this end is carved to a point here. If you notice that, looks like it was like chipped specifically to make a point here. And if you look on the point, there's a lot of wear on it. So I don't know if it was like used as a grinding stone or something. This is kind of a pretty cool one that I found. It's one of my favorites. Um, let's see, another common one. I don't really pick up Charlevoix stones too much, um, but those are, a little bit smaller. You may hear them called honeycomb coral. Um, let me see if I can find one. Here's one. It's not a very good one, but again, I don't pick these up too often because I, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of them. They're neat, but they just have a little tiny honeycomb pattern on. This big one here is slag, and you can find all sorts of different colors of slag from greens, blues, super dark blues. Um, really, really light blues like this one. These are like the Leland blue color. And um, a lot of people only call Leland blues ones that are found in Leland. But um, I, I, I don't know, anytime I find one that's really light like this, I just call it a Leland blue because then people know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't have to specify where I found it. Um, this is what slag looks like on the other side. And for those of you who don't know what slag is, slag is basically glass and it's used in the refining process for steels. And back when they used to have foundries up here, they would use all the hardwoods because there were lots of wood in uh, forests in Michigan. They would use the hardwoods to burn to, um, they, would, they would use it to refine iron ores and that sort of thing. And basically slag is a byproduct of that. And it's all the impurities in the iron ore, like the silica and those things being burned out of it. And basically it's just um, waste. So they would dump it in the lake back in the old days before it was illegal or before they could get caught doing it. So that's what slag is, just basically glass. And, and the different colors um, are kind of determined by what materials are in, in it, what the makeup is of it. 
So you'll see all sorts of different colors. You see purples, blues, greens mostly. You can see some blacks and some reds too. This is called chain coral. This is a really nice one. I haven't found too much chain coral, um, but again, this is what chain coral looks like. So lots of different connecting corals. This is another one of my favorite pieces here. I found this and it's just a really smooth stone. And what I did with it is I put it by my sink and I keep, I always fool my dad whenever he comes over, he thinks it's a bar of soap and he starts scrubbing it. He's like, why isn't this lathering up? Pretty funny though. I like that one a lot. Um, this is another really cool one I found. This one I actually found in my backyard. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of, uh, this is, this stuff here is kind of what Charlevoix stones are, these types of fossils. And it's just kind of neat with them protruding from the edge of the rock. Um, this is another cool one I found in my yard. Just got a lot of bands in it. Kind of neat looking too. Let's see, what other ones do we have here? Some more slag, I got lots of slag. I, I like I like slag, some of it's really pretty looking. Like, I like, like this is a really interesting piece of slag. It's got some cool blues here on the end. Some interesting textures to it. Um, and you can actually find in slag, sometimes you'll find pieces of hardwood or charcoal from the foundries where they would burn it. Like here, see that black spot? That's actually charcoal in there from the foundries. So I have a few pieces of, that actually have it in there. And um, yeah, those are most of the pieces I have. And then I'm gonna show you a big rock pile in my yard here in a second. So you see this big pile here. These are all big piles of rocks that I raked out of my yard when I was putting my lawn in. And as you can see, there's just tons of rocks. Up where I live, there's um, just a lot of rocks in the soil. And I've found Petoskey stones and lots of other just very cool fossils just right in my own backyard, which is pretty, pretty neat to do. Sometimes I just come out here and search through me and my kids will do that and pick out our favorites and put them in our rock collection. So it's so almost anywhere up north you can find some awesome rocks if you look hard enough.